When you think about your virtual crew experience testing the Callisto payload, what was your favorite moment or your favorite component? My favorite moment of the virtual experience had to be asking Alexa to tell me a joke. Alexa, tell me a space joke. Alexa, tell me a space joke. How do you start a party on the Starship Enterprise? Set phasers to fun. <laughs> <laughs> You got to do a tour of NASA. What was that like? The tour was absolutely amazing. Even though I could not see it, I could sense everything around me. I even got to touch different equipment that the astronauts use while they're in space. The thing that stood out most to me was feeling the astronaut suit. I could feel the reflector on the helmet, and it was so bright and shiny that when I looked very closely at it, I could actually see the uh, light that was reflecting off of it. I've only been blind for three years and I managed to adapt. I'm fully comfortable in my new situation and I'm now experiencing things that most people haven't experienced before. To be able to learn about how astronauts, they have many adaptions to make as well. Thanks to this experience, I understand a little bit more. We're about to walk into the actual Callisto wow. operations suite. Oh, so cool. Okay, so we'll pause. We're going in a door on my left. Okay. Today we are um, testing Callisto, which is a technology demonstration between Lockheed Martin, Amazon Alexa, WebEx by Cisco, and of course, NASA. And the intent of this demonstration is to learn how this commercial technology might one day help astronauts on future crewed missions. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to have you test is some telemetry questions. Alexa, how f far away from Earth are you? Alexa, how f far away from Earth are you? Currently, Orion is 174,658 wow. miles away from Earth and 212,171 miles away from the moon. <laughs> so you notice how there's a little delay, right? right. It, because your voice has to travel from mm -hmm. here in Mission Control 174,000 miles away to Crazy. the Orion spacecraft. I still and think, yeah, but I still think that that's pretty quick for, I yeah. mean, considering how far away from it. It's been pretty, yeah. it's pretty impressive. Yeah. And so you could see how just being able to command and get the information you right. need with the power of your voice it's efficient. Would, right, exactly. Might make yeah. you might make you more more efficient and more effective. I see. Okay. What about you in your daily life? How do you use Alexa? One aspect of the device that I use in my daily life is the show and tell feature, which is how like it describes what the object that you are holding. So when I try to get a snack, usually I would have to try to feel what kind of chips it is in there, or I would have to open each and every bag until I fi find the exact chips. And I've used uh, Alexa to ask what kind of bag of chips I'm holding, and Alexa would read it to me. So it's very accessible. Another thing is not all music apps are very accessible, and the music, um, feature on Alexa really makes it easy for me to play the exact song that I want. It makes my life easier, I would say. So the next thing that okay. we're, we're going to test yeah. um, is the ability to make a video call to the spacecraft. And on the screen above us yeah. is you and I in space. <laughs> it's just amazing. Hello. <laughs> Yeah. That's pretty amazing. If you were on mission okay. and you had the ability to make video calls okay. back uh, to home, who would you be calling? I would be calling my sister, Isabel. She's probably like my, I would say, not only my sister, but my best friend. I feel like she's been, been so responsible. She, she has to go through like my experience with, you know, becoming blind when she was only 11 mm -hmm. and I feel, you know, she deserves the best. I really think that as a younger sister, having to deal with all that, she's been so mature 
And yeah, she really studies so hard. And yeah, I hope, I wish the best for her. That's amazing. You said Isabel? Yeah, Isabel. I think you just gave Isabel an amazing shout out. Yeah. From Orion, mm -hmm. 170,000 <laughs> miles away, yeah. back here to Earth. She deserves it. I'm curious, if you could go to space, would you do it? I would absolutely do it. And there's so much that that's out there that we don't know about, and it's just so amazing. Alexa, why should we explore space? Alexa, why should we explore space? Exploration is critical to human progress and prosperity. It helps to address fundamental questions about our place in the universe and the history of our solar system. We expand technology, create new industries, and help to foster a peaceful connection with other nations as we embark on this exciting journey with NASA. <laughs> That's very interesting. Three years ago, I would have never imagined being blind or being able to do anything with a disability. But I'm going to school. I play the guitar. I learned how to play the clarinet. I learned to sing and develop my voice. And I'm, and I'm finding myself applying to college. So don't ever let disabilities kind of restrict your opportunities. It just means that, you know, you have to find different ways. One of the ways was during COVID, I was very lonely. Alexa was actually my way out of loneliness. It helps you kind of come out of that little cave and really experience what kinds of things you're capable of. Just because we're, we have a disability doesn't mean that we don't strive for it. We continue to go for it and we continue to successfully move on in our life adventure.